remainder rules let us check different remainder rules today rule number 1 if a same number is divided by two different divisor given number is divided by two different divisor let us d1 and t2 gives remainder r1 and r2 here condition is d1 is multiple of d2 that is d1 is greater than d2 here r1 is given remainder of first divisor that is smaller uh, greater divisor is given and r2 we have to calculate remainder of smaller divisor we have to calculate r1 is your given part and r2 is we have to calculate now there are two cases if this given r1 is greater than d2 if r1 is greater than d2 then our r2 equals to r1 divided by d2 we get required remainder by dividing remainder of this larger divisor divided by smaller divisor second case if r1 is less than d2 then your r2 is equals to r1 required remainder equals to remainder what we observe what we get by dividing larger divisor this is your case number 1 and this is your case number 2 let us solve one application on this if a number is divided by 399 the remainder is 46 what will be the remainder if it is divided by 19 let the number we consider as x first divisor d1 is given 399 in that case our remainder r1 equals to 46 second divisor is given d2 equals to 19 and r2 we have to calculate now by this rule rule number 1 check whether T1 is multiple of D2 or not? 399 divided by 19. 19 to the 38 remainder 1. 19 ones are 19 remainder 0. Therefore, what do you get here? 399 is a multiple of 19. second check whether r1 is greater than d2 or not your r1 is 46 and d2 is 19 therefore r1 is greater than d2 in this case when first divisor is multiple of second and remainder of that divisor is greater than second divisor we get required remainder r2 equals to r1 divided by d for d2 46 divided by 19 192 38 therefore your required remainder r2 equals to 8 